Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you absolutely everything you need to do to get Paper Mario Color Splash working and working to the best of its possible graphical ability on CMU version 1.12.2. First of all, let's actually launch Paper Mario Color Splash and see exactly what the issues are with this game. The very first problem you are going to encounter happens at the very start of this game. The video you are watching right now is the opening cutscene for Paper Mario Color Splash. However, as you can clearly see, we are now stuck in a loading screen and will not be able to progress in game. All you'll want to do is close your CMU build, navigate down to your file explorer, open file explorer and then you want to find where your games are stored on your PC. Mine are stored on my D drive, Wii U games and you can see my Paper Mario Color Splash game copy here. You want to come into this folder, the content folder and then navigate into this movie folder. This file right here is the opening cutscene for the game. In order to actually boot in game you're going to need to rename this file. I'm simply going to add underscore org at the end of this for original. I am simply doing this instead of deleting this file so that when this movie does indeed work in CMU in future you can simply remove this underscore org. So once you have this done all you want to do is relaunch CMU and reload your game. Once you actually get into the in-game menus all you'll want to do is press A on your input and this should load you straight into game. And there you go, you can see that we have successfully skipped this opening cut sequence and are loaded directly into our game. So at the start of this video I also told you that there are some minor graphical issues in this game. I'm now going to show you how you can fix these. Ok so the graphical issues of which I speak are this weird green tint that will appear on your player characters and other NPCs inside of your game world. To fix this it is actually quite simple but I am also going to show you some optimal settings for playing this game. Ok so first of all you want to launch CMU and then right click on Paper Mario Color Splash. You are going to need to select create game profile since I already have mine created I'm just going to open mine. You are going to want to copy all of the data you see right here, I will have this linked down in the description. This line right here is the line that actually corrects this annoying green tint that we will see on our characters. Once you have all of these settings applied come to file, click save and we can now close this game profile. You are now ready to load back into Paper Mario Color Splash. When we move on our footage to the scene where we were previously getting these graphical corruptions, you can now see that using this accurate shader mall equals min setting has completely fixed our in-game graphics. So that's it for this Paper Mario Color Splash guide, hopefully after following both of these steps you will be able to play this game to the best of its potential. Once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and as always subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.